would have happened. Shame, I says, shame, I had to shame, and vote on the shame, I had in front of me. Shame, uh, shame, if I'd have been in that position, shame, I would have liked to have brought this place back to normal shame, procedure. If I'd have had that shame, opportunity to a 60 vote threshold. But why did you wait? Why did you wait for Collins to make her announcement before you made your announcement? I think that was basically what was. I saw her announcement that she was going to say that she would do that. But you did you find her? Did you decide to vote that way? Because no, no, I never. Oh no, no, no. I think everyone, everyone labored with this. Everybody labored with this decision, and we all did our own. We done due diligence. I was all morning wrong. Everything. How does Senator Murkowski not voting with her party affect your decision? Shame on you! How does Senator Murkowski voting no affect your decision at all, creating a bipartisan on both sides? Senator Murkowski is a very, 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 very dear friend of mine. Very dear friend of mine, and I, she did everything, uh, crossed every T, uh, dotted every dot I, she went through the same process we all did, she came to a different conclusion. I came to my conclusion really this morning when I went through another hour and a half. Do you, believe, do you believe the allegations? Do you, do you, do you believe Dr. Ford? I, I believe Dr. Ford. Something happened to Dr. Ford. I don't believe that the facts show that it was Brett Kavanaugh, but I believe something happened. You think it was someone else who did it? I think something happened to her. I just, there was no way, no way at all that we could see. Senator, what do you say to women who watch this process unfold, heard Dr. Ford's story, and feel like Judge Kavanaugh is getting confirmed anyway, even though they've stepped forward? And that the Senate is essentially slapping I've had them. people all over West Virginia come for and I have the greatest, I mean, just the respect, but also just the, um, the basically the hurt that people have, the trauma they've gone through. And uh, I don't know, I mean, my, my, I have empathy and sympathy, and I'll do anything I can to make sure that they are hurt and make sure this doesn't continue. Do you think this is an adequate FBI investigation into. I, I, can only, I can only have what's in front of me. That's all I have in front of me. I don't know. Based on what you've seen, there should have been more witnesses interviewed for the FBI investigation. I'm sorry, what was that? Do you think there should have been more witnesses interviewed for the FBI investigation? I think that, you know, there's always more that could have been done, I guess, if people are looking at it. I looked at what was in front of me, and I had to make a decision. But based, I really but based on what you've seen, was that an thorough investigation? It was, it was from my standpoint, it was thorough from what I saw. The people that I was concerned about, how they said and what they said and how they did it, I did. Mm -hmm. Senator, do you think you, that there's still a place in the Democratic Party for you after this? Whoa! I'm just a West Virginia. I'm just a good old West Virginia. But you're up for re-election in a difficult race. Are you concerned the base? I never, I, I, I didn't look at this from the political standpoint. Are you con I didn't do that. Are you concerned with Kavanaugh's temperament at all? I know some Democrats have expressed concern with Kavanaugh's temperament. And that, that bothered, the, the, Thursday, the Thursday bothered me. The Thursday bothered me a lot. But I saw that basically uh, a different side. Senator Joe Manchin explaining why he chose to cross party lines and will be voting yes on Judge Kavanaugh. He said uh, when asked if he believed that Democrats should vote for him, he said, I'm just a West Virginian. Molly, I I'm sure you could hear it.